Hey guys, I'm back. I actually went ahead and trimmed off of my dead ends so can get rid of that for the new year. Oh my god. Don't ever cut your Yeah. Oops. <laughs> New Year's resolution, uh, don't cut your hair yourself. <laughs> So I wanted to tell you how to have your best year yet. And I think 2018 is probably gonna be the best year ever in the existence of the universe. The best way to do that is to start off strong and start working on your baby steps now because you have to crawl before you run. And I'm gonna give you some fun activities you can do to pretty much set yourself up for success. Let's make this very sensual and have a candlelight coffee date. Ooh, this is cold. So basically what we're gonna do is three easy steps you can do to get yourself completely mentally, physically ready to have the best year yet. Number one is we're gonna completely purge all of the negativity like toxins. I'm actually drinking a detox tea as we speak. So physically, mentally, and spiritually, you are going to release the past. You're gonna release 2017. Basically, um, kids, don't try this at home. It's in jar, and I'm gonna write all the things that went wrong that I didn't care for for 2017. The whole premise of it is to acknowledge it, uh, be grateful for it, because every situation, good or bad, actually happens for a reason. And then you put it back into the mason jar after you purged out all those emotions. Uh, burn it. And it's like a spiritual, like... <sighs> so it'll be gone for good. So I think the very first thing you need to do to have the best year yet is to get rid of the previous year. So goodbye, 2017. You were like, all right. But 2018, bam, I'm ready for you. Step one is to burn it in a mason jar, but I don't have a mason jar. Instead, I have a fireplace. So I'm taking advantage of the very cold, what is it, 20 degrees weather. <laughs> and we're making a fire, and to help it, we use the 2017 December calendar. Um, I wrote down anything negative I did not care for in 2017. And I'm going to read them to myself again and rip them off individually and throw them into the fire to be gone for good. Letting go of the past in a 20s. Wait, I gotta really mean this. You gotta really mean it in order for it to work. <clears throat> I'm letting go of the past and I'm letting go of 2017. Goodbye, 2017. Bye. Kids, don't try this at home. is we're going to, now that we released the 2017, we're gonna focus completely on 2018. We are a solid, fresh foundation. I'm taking old posters that I've used in the past. Oh God, there's so many, but they all have stuff already on them, but the backs are perfectly clean and good to use. Oh, I have four of them, and they're all perfectly good to use. We're going to do a project, so we're gonna do just knocked off my organized binder. Um, the habits you wanna instill, I have 12 because I'm crazy, and you can have as little as three, or one habit you wanna instill each day. Daily habits, so starting tomorrow, fresh, or I'm gonna, it's like check marks. So you have that, you have to put your habit tracker in your goals somewhere where you see every single day, so it's always in front of you because insight in mind, out of sight, out of mind, and you want it inside in mind. <laughs>
is really cute and fun. We are going to write a letter to our future selves and that we are not allowed to open, so sign, seal, deliver, until this time one year from now. So you can open it one year from now, December 31st, 2018. You are scripting your life. You basically are going to write out your desired life. Like cute thing too is to take a picture of yourself now and slip it in there and then when you open it you look at it and you're like wow look at all I've accomplished and if you didn't accomplish like my biggest fear is I didn't but then that's what the beauty of it is then the next day is January 1st 2019 you have a fresh start again so it's a very beautiful exercise that I recommend for everyone all right this lighting is absolutely horrendous but it's not about the lighting it's about the next thing we're about to do all right so now step Three is I am going to write a letter to my future self. All right. <laughs> we are T minus two hours to the new year. We're drinking one to celebrate and have fun. It's this guy. Don't know what that is. Never had it before, and I'm not a wino, but a wino. You're a whiner. I'm a, wow, thanks, babe. And I don't like champagne, but the closest thing to it to me is Moscato. So thank you, Mom, for this Christmas gift. Wait, you're supposed to cheers me. I was just, what, what, uh, how? I just don't like it. <laughs> I like the song for like an anthem for 2018. Oh, you're like, you're drunk, you're not drunk. Nope, not in 2018. <laughs> we got less than one minute. Ah! And we're going to pop. Get better. It's important this. Yay! We better figure out how to open this in a minute. Seconds to go. It's almost the end of 2017. Oh my god, 20 seconds! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Have a new I don't think any of them know the words. It's so awkward. How are you feeling? 